Hello everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up your paid account with OpenAI and more importantly how to set your usage limit properly. Now if you are anything like me, I kind of shy away from subscriptions and don't like paying for things that I don't really use much. That is why I don't really have a Netflix account, I don't really have a bunch of these paid subscriptions for AI tools that are flooding the market, I don't have a mid-journey subscription yet, and I kind of consciously choose what subscriptions I want to get based on my needs. So why am I setting up a paid account with OpenAI and recommending you to do the same? That's because it's not exactly a flat rate per month subscription, it's more of a pay-as-you-go structure which I prefer a lot more. Now why would you need this anyways? If you haven't heard, we recently had the release of AutoGPT, which is an example of GPT-4 running fully autonomously and it is pushing the boundaries of AI. And the best thing is, you can actually run this on your local computer. But to access the capabilities of GPT-4, you're going to need an OpenAI API key which you can only get from your paid account. So to get started, you will need to log in first to your OpenAI account. This is the same login you might use for ChatGPT. Now when you're there, you need to click on set up the paid account. Now before setting that up, I want to make some clarifications on how much this is actually going to cost you. And I want to demonstrate how cheap this actually is so you can get some confidence. Now the costs are marked per 1000 tokens and 1000 tokens generates on an average around 750 words and this paragraph itself is only 35 tokens. Now how much do you think 1000 token costs? It's actually just around 3 cents for an 8k context and 6 cents for a 32k context. Now I've done some basic calculations so 3 cents gets you around 750 words and $3 will get you 100,000 tokens and that's around 75,000 words. Now unless you're using this really heavily, that's really not much. And also when you don't use it, you don't keep getting charged a monthly subscription like some of the other AI tools out there. Now if you want to try out AutoGPT or any other things that needs an OpenAI API key, you can just try out with a few tokens and that will barely get to a few dollars. So I wanted to make this clear so you don't feel like you're going to get charged a lot of money. The actual range of the costs are in the range of a few cents to a few dollars. And I think that's a low enough amount for anybody anywhere in the world to try this out. Alright, now let's do the setup of the paid account. So when you click on set up, you're going to say I'm an individual, I'm not a part of a company, so I'm going to go with an individual. Now here you need to provide a credit card number and they're going to place a temporary authorization hold of $5. At the end of every calendar month, you'll be charged for all the usage that happened during the month. So I'm going to go ahead and use my own credit card. Now after you have your card set up, it says you'll be billed at the end of each calendar month for the usage during that month. And if you want to cancel your paid account, you can just click this button at any time. So now that you set up your paid account using a credit card, it's important to set a usage limit. So what exactly is a usage limit? By default, the approved usage limit, that is the maximum usage OpenAI allows your organization or here you as an individual to use every month, is $120. So if you don't set this up and worst case scenario something happens with your OpenAI key with some application and it keeps running, the max you will be charged is $120. So there's two kinds of limits here, the soft limit and the hard limit. So when your organization reaches this threshold every month, a notification email will be sent. And I recommend setting this amount to around $3. So if you reach a $3 usage limit, you're going to get an email. And the next one here is the hard limit, is when your organization reaches this usage, any future requests will be rejected. And I recommend setting this to around $5. So now, regardless of what happens, the max usage you'll get is around $5 worth of tokens. And when you reach around $3 worth of tokens, you're going to get an email. And when you click save, and now you can safely use your OpenAI API key without worrying how much you're going to get charged. The max you're going to get charged is 5 bucks regardless. Now it's important to note that these limits are actually limits, these are not subscriptions. So you're not going to be charged 5 bucks every month or 3 bucks every month. This is just the usage limits based on how much you use your keys. And I also want to show you how you can generate different API keys for different applications. So all you do is to click on this API key button right here 
and here you're going to have a list of all your API keys that have ever been generated. I already generated my first one using the name AutoGPT and the key is actually hidden here and this was never used because I just generated this today. All you do is to click this new secret key and provide a name. For example, I'm going to name this testing AI and when you click secret key and this will generate your secret API key which you can copy with this button right here and paste it somewhere else. It's important to know that once you move away from this window, you won't be able to view it again. Now you might be wondering why I just showed you my secret API key. That's because after this video or maybe right now, I can just click revoke key and delete this off my account. So this is actually gone and I'm actually safe and nobody can use my secret key. And even if I forgot to delete that and someone used my secret key from my video, remember, I just set my usage limit so the max they'll be able to use is five bucks. So now I'm completely safe to use my API key and generate new ones for different applications. So that way I can keep a track of how much each of these API keys are used for different applications. So that's all I have for today's video. I hope I cleared some misconceptions that you might have had before setting up a paid account with OpenAI. And you might be scared that you're gonna get charged a lot of money, but it's really not a lot of money like I showed you. And all you really need is a credit card that you can put in your account. And when you set your usage limit, you know how much you're gonna get charged at a max. So there is definitely nothing to be scared about. And I really wanted to make this video separate instead of adding this on to any other applications because a lot of people, including me, are skeptical from adding their credit cards to different kinds of products, not knowing how much they're gonna get charged. So I hope you got some value from this video. And if you did enjoy it, make sure to click the like button and subscribe to my channel. Till the next one, thank you so much.